like when you wasted money? Like, is there one thing that you say, man, that was my tuition into the school of experience, man? I fucked that money up. Yeah, it, uh, the Tyson crib was like that. Oh my god, that was definitely look. look. Oh man, Nobody... he bought Mike Tyson's crib. It was in Connecticut, yeah. right? Yeah. How many rooms was that house? Fifth. It was eighteen bedrooms. Eighteen bedrooms. It had, uh, six, well, three. Full kitchens and three half kitchens. Yeah, and and it had a club in it, a nightclub. Yeah, yeah. man, the grounds were so, you know, massive. Yeah. Now, how much did you pick that house up for? I paid four point one. And how much did you sell it for years later? I sold it for three. Man. three yes. Man. Yeah. How much was the upkeep? How many? For, first off, how many years did you have it? I had it for fourteen years. Fourteen years. Whoa. How much was the upkeep? Uh, the guesstimate upkeep per was year. About seven hundred thousand a year. Yeah. So about think of that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I remember, dude, I went to the house, right? And fifth, I was walking. And if I had a Fitbit on, I know I did two, three miles in the house. (laughs) And I was even in play. Have you ever woke up at that house and didn't know somebody was there? Oh, oh, all the time. Because what I was doing is, in the beginning, and this is what, like how my character's changed a little bit over time, but there's a... At that point, it was allowing me to bring everybody and still have my space. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it was like yeah. I could take it was like everybody. our house. Yes. So it was like the the whole place was uh is that. The other day, Fifty Cent he was on the Big Boy Neighborhood and he asked him, "What was the biggest waste of money you ever did and like what you learned from it?" He was just talking about Bad Mike Tyson old mansion back in '03. I remember hearing about that back in the day. He said it cost him seven hundred thousand dollars a year on average just to maintain it. And half the time, you ain't even there because you're on tour, you know what I'm saying, performing your songs, trying to keep your money going. It's crazy, bro. I remember him telling one story about it was a part of his mansion that nobody ever really went down. So over time, it just started getting old and problems with the floor. And sometimes the floor will creak. It'll start making noises from a certain part of the house. He said niggas was like, I ain't going down there. What the hell down there? Like they was thinking it was ghosts or some shit. Like I couldn't even imagine that. My broke is I cannot imagine my house being so big that there's parts of it that I never even went down. But he said he was like 18 bedrooms, pools, a club. I tell you one thing, if I ever get a mansion that goddamn big, I am never gonna be in there by myself. And whoever lived with me gonna help me pay the goddamn bills. Like, ain't no one in hell because as a kid and a teenager, that was my first thought. Oh, if I get rich, I wanna buy a huge mansion. This and that, until you start thinking about the upkeep. You start thinking about, do you really need all that space? Because nine times out of ten, it's going to be you and a few other people. Like, do you really need that huge space? And nine times out of ten, you don't. It's all for just showing off. If you just give me a nice four or five bedroom house, I'd be good with that, man. What y'all think about this, boy? Be moots.